What's up guys and girls, Lazy Dragon here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 7's Not A Hero DLC. Last time around, there was a race against time as we froze ourselves, and then fought a really fat dude. Did you know my superpower was making previous episodes sound really, really fucking lame in retrospect? <laughs> but today, we're finally going to find Lucas. I hope. Maybe. He, he might be around here somewhere. Our task is still apprehend Lucas. So hopefully he's still here. We do have a clown key now. Let's insert that into there. And does that open the big thing up? Ooh, the big thing is moving. Moving towards me. That's not a good sign. Is that a drill? Should I be running? I'm just going to back up. Going to keep backing up. Gonna back up, I've backed up into something. It's still... wait, it's slowing. Am I supposed to run up there? There's a flight of steps. Sure. Let's go see... what they've got in the monster jamboree. At least I assume I can get up here. No, there's tarpaulin in the way. Um... Well, there's a perfectly good flight of stairs on the other side. I thought we'd been foiled for a second, because Lucas hadn't bothered to build enough staircases. Whoa, what sort of hidden base is this? It's like an airship that he's put underground. It's got sliding doors. I'm on a freaking Star Trek vessel. Louisiana, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Lucas the Dickhead. His mission? To be really annoying. How impressive am I? Oh, I am very impressive indeed. Hang on. Um, bang. And I have not reloaded. Okay, maybe I'm not that impressive. Two for the price of one. Sock him in the jaw. And his friend. Go on, go for the sock. Why is sock him not a button? Every controller needs a sock him button, I've decided. And why can I not resolve all of my problems punch-out style? Ow. No, don't go for the bite. Ah, oh, he's chewing down on your hand. You need that for, well, Chris Redfield's private time. There we go. Grenades. You don't need them in Chris Redfield's private time. Unless you sort of get off to military hardware. And given the fact that this, this is Chris Redfield, he probably does get off to military hardware. Anyone left? You're still rolling around on the floor. Punch. Is that it? I think, I think we're good. <laughs> Apart from him. There we go. Hit him with the stomp. Dead space style. Stomp on his head. Ah, do I have the special bullets? Yes, I do. They're the only bullets I do have, so hopefully it's only the enemies that go down in one shot from here on out. Ah, oh, what are you hitting me with? Ooh! There's a monster there. Hang on, I'm, I'm completely out of ammo. Give me a second to switch to a different weapon. Ow. Still got health. That's good. And stab, and stab, and stab, and stab. I'm in a freaking boxing match with the... Oh, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. It looks like a necromorph. I still don't know their names. They're called Molded in the main game. But these, the little sort of four-legged things are always just creeped me out. And I think they've, they're the things responsible for most of my deaths in the main game as well. Because I can never see the things. They're always so close to the floor and I'm so tall and far away from the ground. And we're about to die. Maybe I should stop talking for a second and throw a grenade. That helped. Chris Redfield auditioning for Stomp. How many of you are like... Oh, you're one of the... One shot, one kill type things, aren't you? Good. I'm run out of healing items. Guys, please, no more. Stomp. What's left? Oh, the, how many of you are there? Well, I tried my best. We're we're out of ammo. We're out of health. We've we've got a knife, and that's it. I probably should have picked up some more ammunition before coming in here. 
or some more of anything, really. I could not have been more unprepared for this fight. Oh, would you look at that? There's ammo here, right next to the door. Why did I not pick this up the first time? Oh, would you look at that? We have lots of ammunition again. Isn't it marvellous? I swear that wasn't my last time. I, I could have sworn I looked at that before. I mean, it's entirely possible I missed the ammo the first time around, because I'm a bit stupid. But I could have sworn I checked it all. There we go. We'll shotgun Lem. Punch without aiming. He's dead. He's... Stop chowing down on my hand. What is it with the bloody game and hands? Hand torture porn, that's all it is. Put that in the tagline for the Game of the Year edition. Are you dead? Hang on. I, I can make certain he's dead. You're the special one. That's the wrong bullet. That's my inventory. Uh, it's not getting any easier. Jump, Chris. Jump and run. Chris forgot how his pistol works. Oh, that's a much easier way to solve the problems. Chuck one incendiary grenade, and that takes out three of them at once. Why was I bothering with the punching and the shooting? All you need is one grenade, and that's it. Problem solved. Here, let's do it again. One grenade, and problem solved. Oh, wait, apart from you. There we go. One grenade and a single bullet, and you can wipe out an entire wave. I must look pretty darn foolish now. But maybe we can edit out all of the parts where I died earlier. Maybe I did get lucky. What? How is that being destroyed? Is he sniping them? Is he up top with a little sniper rifle? Cause that could be cool. It could be like a Metal Gear Solid 3 boss fight. Where we play cat and mouse and he's got a sniper. And I've got a terrible, terrible need to shoot him in the head. Go away. All of you, stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Lazy Dragon says, stop moving. Yeah, I'll treat you like children if I have to. Turn this into a giant game of Simon Says. Where are the rest of you? There's still a couple more of the invincible ones. I think, I think we were practically at the end of the first time we tried this. We just ran out of ammo. We destroy him with a punch. There's one of the super dudes there. A super dude. As if he's going to go away and form his own team of superheroes. Composed entirely of zombies. I'd, I'd see that thing. <laughs> Give the idea to DC. Can't be any worse than the recent stuff they've put out. Oh, I can do this all day. Don't worry about me. I've got health, I've got ammo. I've got a way out of here, at last. You're, you lot don't die easily. Oh, you're the vomiting ones. Crap. I forgot that you lot existed. You're still on fire. Surely that's got to count for something. I'm not sure if that's vomit or Coca-Cola. Is this their sort of Christmas sponsorship? <laughs> Resident Evil and Capcom working together to promote Coke. This Christmas, why not throw up a refreshing beverage? He's still coming. How many times do I have to shoot them in the head before they go down? Let me just... Hang on, need to rearrange the inventory. Rearrange the old inventory. Here, have a frag, just for you. That's how much I value our friendship. I'm willing to waste an entire frag grenade just on him. So we're down to frags, knives... And the special ammo. And hey, it's Lucas. That's a lie. I'm sure he's got one thing left. What is it? A boss fight? Are you going to turn into a giant monster? You have done horrible things. I'm glad you can see that. You, you did, yeah. And now we're going to make you pay. Stop, Chris. Stop letting him monologue. Just run in and kill... Oh, no. 
What is he doing now? Time's running out. What are you doing? Last time you said TikTok, you hit me with a giant pendulum. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. You've said exactly what I've been trying to communicate this entire series. Shut the fuck up, Lucas. Shotgun ammo, handgun ammo. He's going to escape. We can't let him escape after all of this. Where's he going to go? Are we going to look like such nonces when we have to file the report for this? Yes, I was following Lucas, but then I accidentally let him escape. And please don't fire me from Umbrella. Uh, yeah, I don't want to die here either, Chris. We can't get through the floor. We can't get out that door. Is there a key I need? This door. Front door. That's locked. Of course it's locked. There's got to be another exit. This vent. Are you open? Heave, Chris. Heave. I can see the fire already starting. That's it, Chris. Put your back into it. The vent's loose. Down, 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 down. I can see the flames jump. And this way. This way. Two. Oh, the pipes are rupturing. We're not safe yet. We're not safe at all. Chris, for Christ's sake, man. Crawl faster. Start doing the worm out of here if you have to. Nobody will judge. It's hardly the stupidest thing that would have ever happened in a Resident Evil game. We wormed to safety. Now where am I? Where is this? Were we here in the main game, or...? I've got no idea. I don't know anymore. Lucas is sending emails. Umbrella and Redfield have been... Oh no, we've not been taken care of. Oh, no, Lucas. No, 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 no. You and me aren't finished. Who do you send it to? We're still decrypting that. Just get Lucas. Just get Lucas, okay. No idea who they sent the thing to. Wait, is this a turret? I probably shouldn't be standing in front of it. Ah, Lucas. Your old buddy Redfield would like a word with you. Where'd he go? Left or right? Let's try left. Mainly because it's closer, and I don't like having to walk long distances. Lucas. Lock from the other side. I chose poorly. Again. Where are ya? I mean, this is a really nice research facility. Just built underneath the Baker family home. Yeah, and they didn't seem to mind it at all. It's not, that's not Lucas, that's one of the goopy monsters, isn't it? Anything critical? Ooh, here we go. What's this? Files. What does this say? WM002. WOM2. Welcome to WOM2. I'll be your guide and I have a list. What are we... I mean, we could fight it. Ooh, there's paper on the wall. What's this? WM001. WM001A. Well, WM001 I think was the thing we killed. So let's get in here and execute his brethren. Because I haven't shot enough things in this video. It's a padded cell! Oh, you crazy bastards. Right, anti-regen ammo and anti-regen ammo. I should take care of them. Oh, hiding under the bed. You're a sneaky little bugger, aren't you? Yeah, that's my solution for sneaky little buggers. It goes bang and it rhymes with blot gum. Anti-regen ammo. Oh, there's bloody handprints on the wall. On the windows, on the bed, this is really unhygienic. Somebody slept in there, and then had the most violent period of their lives. I don't like this room anymore. Oh hey, it's Evelyn and Mia. No idea where they are right now. Well, I know where one of them is. She's... Although I probably shouldn't say, because that would spoil the playthrough of the main game, which you should absolutely watch. Subtle plug, subtle plug. Um, med injector. This room was pointless. We killed 
two people for no reason, three people for no reason. Hopefully we won't find out that there's a cure later on for those moulded creatures. Otherwise we're going to have a real awkward conversation with their family. Yes, I'm sorry that your son won't be coming home anymore, but you see, he was hiding under a bed and I don't like that. Are you alive? It's... you're getting predictable, Resident Evil. You're getting predictable. What do we got in here? More papers? I'm sick of this guy Lucas, I just gave him my job as lead researcher. Who do they think I am? Why do I, a Stanford graduate with a master's in microbiology, have to work under this lunatic? All he does is mess around with the test subjects, making them fight each other and doing unnecessary autopsies. He's sick. He knows nothing about the E-series potential. I'm going to report his behaviour at the next meeting with HQ. Somebody was not happy with Lucas. Join the club. What have we got in here? A couple of grenades. Just in case Lucas gets out of hand. Hand gamma, why are you giving me so much ammo? <laughs> we, we, we rec we've recognised the pattern by this point. The game gives you a ton of ammo and then goes, Oh, there totally won't be a boss around this corner! That's a box. It starts with the same letter as boss, I know, but it's, it's not quite the same thing. Is that a shadow lair? That is a shadow lair. What is that? Is that a monster shadow? Oh, that looks like a monster shadow to me. Yes. Somebody's making shadow puppets in that room. Lucas. Oh no, it's Lucas making shadow puppets in that room. I'm going to go in this door. That, there's no power. Crap. Where can I go to get this door? There must be power through here somewhere. Close the door behind us. Oh! Well, this looks like a breaker switch. Lucas! Guess who's coming for you? Hey, buddy! Hey! Come on, Lucas! Let's do this! Open the door, open the door, open the door! Be in shotgun range, be in shotgun range! Where the... Ah! The bastard's got away! I killed off all the connections researchers, they were poking around where they weren't supposed to when I wasn't looking, but I knew exactly what they were up to. You threw them in a cage with some moulded, they shit their pants and begged for their lives. And probably a good time now to cut ties with the connections. You're the only one who can really make good use of Evelyn's mould. So you wanted the moulded, you didn't want Evie, you wanted the mould. Where have you gone now? Run through that door at the end? I think he's run through that door at the side there. But it's, gi it's giving us a save point, so let's take a moment, compose ourselves, catch our breath, and then go and kill ourselves a hillbilly. Lucas! Chris is ready for you now. You unlocked it. Well done, Master of Unlocking. Where is he? Where's he gone? Lucas! Lucas, Lucas, Lucas! Ah, moral choice. This door? Ooh. This looks like sort of a maintenance car. Oh, this is where we came from. Crap. Okay, so he can't have gone this way. Oh, wait, he can't shoot. In that case, I'm going to use this lockpick I found. Open up this box. More anti-regen ammo. Not that you really need it. Like, it drops the enemies in one hit. Maybe you ran out this door, though. Oh, there's a turret there. I can't go down that way. Unless I... Go long, Chris! Gotcha! Where are you, Lucas? Where is he? In me? I mean, I should be dead, but I'm just too darn lovable. This is a great big room with ammo and weapons. I mean... I don't want to say it's a stereotypical boss room, but if for some reason you wanted to send a picture to someone of a stereotypical boss room, this is the room I would pick. Where are you? Ooh, here we go! Oh, jeez, why are you on top of me already? Get him off! Get him off! He, he's an idiot with a knife! You're Chris Goddamn Redfield! Shoot the bastard! There we go! Oh, it finally gave me the button prompt. Finish him. I don't believe it. Finish him. Believe it. It's believe it. 
I'll quote Naruto at to you before you die. Just shut up and accept it, Lucas. I'm mounting him and telling him to shut up and accept it. Oh no, don't you mutate as well. What are you turning into? The other, when the other two mutated, they turned into giant monsters. Infection at critical mass. Chris, maybe stop mounting him. Now is not the time for a rodeo. His face, it's melted completely. He's going to escape via the drains. I can't follow him in there. He melted away and... Is that him on the ceiling? How did he get up there? Oh, it's giving birth, whatever it is. Oh, uh, is that you, Lucas? You're a big one, aren't you? That's time to run. Anti-regen ammo. I'm guessing you can regenerate. Bang, that's it. Regenerate this, you prick. You look an awful lot like the collectors from Mass Effect 2. So let me punch you in the nose. Come on, come on. Is that the weak spot I need to go for, the heart? Yeah, why bother killing Lucas when I can simply give him emotional heartbreak? That's it, I've got some more emotional trauma for you right here. Ooh. Okay, emotional trauma is actually the name of his left hand. He likes to jerk himself off with emotional trauma. Hit that giant glowy weak point. Make him bleed, make him scream, make it... What, why are we doing this? This... <laughs> This is not survival horror in the slightest. This is the final boss from Bioshock. That's what this is. Uh, where are the little sisters? Are they going to jump out of a vent and help me? Oh, what's wrong with your head? Oh, you're filling the room with toxins. That's what's wrong with your head. Error. Error. Oh shit, our special high-grade quality filter doesn't do anything now. Anti-regen. Uh, grenade. Oxygen supply station. It is, it's dead space now. Because we're just borrowing everything from every other horror game going. Fill me up. Oxygen depleted. And anti-regen. Anti-regen. No more regenerating for you. Is that enough? How many shots do you need? Come on, I... The only way to get the shotgun any closer to you would be to put it inside your mouth. Oh, god damn it. One of these days I'll remember to reload the poxy gun. Heart, heart, heart. Heart, heart. Does he know how long his arms are? He seems to keep missing. I know I'm running low on oxygen. Thank you, nice voice in my ear. You know, I was expecting some tactical information, not you're about to die from forgetting to breathe, but we'll take it. Get him down. Is that it? Oh, air clear. He's shaking. He's vibrating. Shake, rattle and roll. Are you... You're dead. We did it. We tied up a loose end of Resident Evil 7. Hooray! Chris, you absolute hero. Game over. Game over, man. Pull the trigger. Oh, that was satisfying. Uh, there's there's still a lot of goop there. I wouldn't touch it. Finally. I imagine all of that goop will reform into a villain in a future game. Calling it now. Okay, are we going to interrupt the data transfer? How do you stop a data transfer? You click cancel, you twat. It's not that difficult. Or you rip out the USB. Or you could shoot everything. I know that's your preferred method for solving problems. Did we do it? Mission accomplished? There you go, it's a Phantom Menace ending. You kill the big boss and everyone else dies. Well done, Chris. Even though your face does look a bit more bizarre than the last time I saw you. I'm still not certain it is Chris Redfield. His face just doesn't quite look right. Perimeter wall up and operational. It's secure, the bakers are gone... The mold is contained. Mia and hopefully they are Evie's last victims. Apart from you know the two thousand or so that she destroyed on the way over here. 
giving us just enough enemies for the next game. I'm on my way. Oh, well, they finally got some closure. We, we've executed their son. And there you have it. That was Resident Evil 7's Not a Hero. Now, let's... What is this? Is this supposed to be credits or just the company's sponsor umbrella? And a few stats for us at the end. Restarts, antique coins, files obtained, and an achievement. Mission accomplished. Complete not a hero. Ah. Difficulty unlocked. Professional. Item unlocked. Thor's hammer with a different sight. And that's that. I think we're finally done with Resident Evil. Thank you all for joining me. This has been Not a Hero. We'll be back before too long with some more ridiculous games, so I hope you will stick around for that. And until next time, farewell everyone.